to another super fantastic, exciting episode of Comic Games. And if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is the Princess Soraya Hines, looking very good, lovely today, wearing the leopard brow blouse, and there's cocoa in her lap. So bow down and respect. <laughs> blouse. That was, blouse. <laughs> that was a tongue twister blouses. for me. Blouses. Game. Blouses. Uh, blouses, huh? All right. Yeah, the leopard princess is here. All right. Okay, not the diseased one. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so uh, today is Saturday the 18th, and mm -hmm. you only have seven days left until Christmas, so we got you guys a little treat. Uh, we're going to do some, uh, get back to what we were doing before. It's Saturday, new comic book day, so technically this would be Wednesday the 15th, so you're going to see what our pickups were. It was a really good week. And uh, we thought we'd share with you guys. We're going to keep doing this video. Keep sharing with the, the new comic book day until so you guys come up with something better for us to do on Saturday. But uh, we also have some Princess Whatnot games, which is really exciting. And then uh, I think uh, Zach's Crazy Drunken Variant Buys. Oh, yes. Is that, yes. that a new very segment? Very drunk. Very, <laughs> very drunken variant buys. The person that did the cover was probably drunk, too. It's trippy. Nice uh, trippy. Yeah. Too. So that's going to be the show for today. And also, uh, before we get into it, though, Zach has another variant he wants to show you. A it, bee! It's a variant to a lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> it's an uh, Arnold Palmer spiked. Yes, I opened up again. I was really feeling like an Arnold Palmy. With such a great taste. <laughs> Arnold Palmy. <laughs> Arnold Palmy. Who wants some Arnie Palmies? <laughs> it's original half and half iced tea and lemonade. And as you well know, he peed in every single batch before he died. So you get that authentic Arnold Palmy taste in every sip. All right, let's get into this. All right. I think that was like the Arizona tea, right? Same company. I don't know <laughs> if it is. Yeah, it, that's so refreshing, so delicious. I should have put it over ice. And, you know, as you all know, there's a point two in here. A point two is the best part. All right. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so uh, not a not a bad week for uh, new comic book day stuff coming out. Uh, I can tell le the weeks coming forward there's going to be a little bit slower. It's like hardly anything coming out from Marvel and DC. I don't know if that had any anything to do with them. Diamond getting hacked. Maybe you guys know, but uh, there's hardly anything to be gotten off the pull list. But right now we have some good stuff. So let's see what we got here. So uh, first up, we have Star Wars The High Republic Adventures. Uh, the annual. So this is the first annual I've seen from this one. Uh, pretty cool. I've been digging the story so far. I think I'm actually going to drop the regular IDW one off my pull list. It got a little too childish for me. So I don't know what you guys felt about it, but like the art, even the artwork inside changed compared to like what the first like five uh, books went, but excited no, about this one. No one likes child play. The actual play and the movie. Next up, uh, we got Star Wars High Republic number 12. I love this cover. This is so cool. Uh, this is one I didn't drop. I'm, I'm going to keep the regular Marvel one. Definitely more adult. And there's that chance if, you know, Star Wars High Republic, they make it into a TV show or a movie. They're kind of leading down the road. I still feel like they're going to do Old Republic, not High Republic, just since it has a better backstory. But really cool. Really cool cover. Yeah, yeah. You never know what they're going to do. I would... I would say that they're probably going to lean on the newer stuff, but at the same time, I could be wrong. The older stuff has more history, so... Yeah, plus you got, like, Darth Revan, Malak, all that good stuff. Well, all part of the older true. public. Very true. All right. Um, this is a weird one, and Zach was scared of it when I showed it to him, but uh, we got the Thing number 2. This is the variant edition. I only picked it because I thought the cover was really cool. It almost kind of looks like it's a cross between, like, Thing and Doctor Doom. Yeah. But Zach said if I put it by his bedroom door, he'd be really scared of it. I'll burn it. Well, I'll burn it. Ah, ah, ah. Look, it covers Zach's face. Yeah. It matches. There yeah. it is. His new Was that face. supposed to be Taskmaster or something? I, no, I think it's Thing and Doctor Doom, right? No. You think no, that's no, Taskmaster? I think that's Taskmaster. It's a rock face. It's, uh, it's a rock it. face. All right. This is kind of something that's kind of cool because I it's almost like they took a little break from this because I haven't seen any Berserker books in... More than a month? Obviously, if it was only a month, it would not be a break. But it feels like a while since I've seen a Berserker book. But we got Berserker number six. I know they already optioned this for a TV show. Um, the story is killer. You, even though, it's, you know, obviously, like, Keanu wrote it with uh, another writer, the story is really, really good. 
Yeah, those red hands need to be careful where they grab them, okay? That's kind of weird. But What's going on? The red hands. Are the hands look, look, are fire? They're, they're, I won't oh, say... they are hands. Yeah, it looks like they're grabbing towards his nether regions. Make sure it's twisted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, next up, I know this is something for the Princess Collection. We got the Demon Days Rising Storm number one uh, by Peach Momoko. This is actually a really good cover. Actually, I like this cover a lot for it. And I, it's supposedly, it's, this is the fourth book in the series of number five. Mm-hmm. I haven't read any of them. I know, I know Princess has read them and Zach's read at least number one. But kind of interesting. I, I might read it later on down the road. Yeah, there. It could be good. It's, it's like X Men characters, right? In a different kind of like. It's like in Japan. Japan, Tokyo, kind of, Japan. but with X Men characters. And whenever I think of, you know, Japan, I think of Tokyo. So maybe it isn't in Tokyo, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Katanas and armors and kimonos. Oh my! Nice, nice. But uh, all right, we follow up with this one. This is something I'm kind of excited about. So you got Amazing Spider Man eighty one. Uh, digging this cover a lot in this one. It's got Miles in the new costume, and you got Ben Riley in the new costume. First meeting of Miles Morales and Ben Riley. Uh, this story's coming out every week, and it's holding up pretty good. It's not bad. I'm liking the story so far. Obviously, Ben Riley's the main character. Peter's kind of out of the out of the spotlight here, but now you got Miles jumping in. I, I think B, the Beyond Corporation is basically claiming rights to the Spider-Man name and they've basically employed Ben Riley to be the new Spider-Man. So they're going around telling everybody you can't be called Spider-Man anymore. So they already told Peter. So I'm guessing in this book, they're going to tell Miles that he can't use the Spider-Man name either because they, they have the rights to it. Yeah, whatever. That's a thing. Get the rights to it. They got the man. NFTs. Oh my gosh. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. Who goes right along with it. Um, this cover's really cool too. We got Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 33, you got Miles on the cover in the new suit, and then a very buff-looking uh, Miles in the old suit. I'm not sure. There's I've got to be somebody else, though. Mm. Yeah, yeah it could I know in this story they kind of just wrapped up with uh, Taskmaster in the last book, so I'm kind of I'm not quite sure where this one's jumping into. Right. With this one, but good cover though. Oh yeah. Yeah. It Reaped. could be anybody. It could be even be you. All right, and then as you guys know, uh, reading that Walking Dead Deluxe, we're up to number 29. Um, yeah, still digging the story. Obviously, you guys have already read it, but it's a great story. It's almost like the Upside Down cover. Yeah, I don't like that cover. Upside Down. I was yeah. kind of almost confused if it was supposed to be that way or not. I don't like the cover at all. Zach <laughs> loves it. All right, this one's really cool. Um, we, uh, we got the, the future... Strange Academy number 14. I thought this was a really cool cover. So it's obviously the characters from Strange Academy, but they're grown up. So you can see like the main character in the middle. Is that Emily, right? Emily is the main character. I can't remember. I, so many books I'm reading, it's hard to remember all their Emma names. But Stone? I think it's like Emily Bright, right? That sounds about right. Yeah. But really, really cool. I think there's there's one first appearance in there, Zach, right? First appearance of Gas Lamp. Gas Lamp. Yeah. That, like, lamp lighter? Only gas lamp? Yeah, it's a dumb name. I don't like Dude, it. gas lamp? That's where you, like, fart over a candle, and it's like, <laughs> that's his special power. He lights up a room. All right, Princess has picked up, uh, we got Gun Honey number four. I think this is the variant cover. No, man, this is cover A. This is a cool cover A. You got the steering wheel covering up the naughty bits. I've heard this is a very good read. Princess is reading it, uh... Zach, you're trying to pick it up too, right? Yeah, I picked up the issue one and issue two. Mm-hmm. I haven't read it yet. It seems pretty interesting. I really like the Adam Hughes cover. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that is one. cool, especially if they got a really good artist like that to do yeah. on the book. I think uh, they should have bit. Greg Horn do a couple covers too. That would be cool. All right. Um, Princess got Wonder Girl number six. This is the variant by Art Germ. Um, just cool book. Probably should pick it up because of the cover, I'm guessing. So I know the regular cover A had a first cover appearance of another character as well, but I'm not sure. Yeah, great. It's a good cover though. You gotta get. You never know when Art Germ cover is gonna blow up. So yeah, it was the first appearance of Potira. P O T I R A. So if I said it wrong, I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. You're not. Well, my mom says I am. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's probably not true. All right, this one I was really thought was cool. So. uh we got Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, number two. I feel like we got number two before. Was it was only number two? Okay. Number two. Um, I know we got a 
number one for the princess as well. And she actually got that signed by uh, Rose Beach at the con. So really cool. I almost like number two better. The cover is almost better than number one. So really, really cool. I haven't heard anything about the story on this, but it's a nice scene. Something kind of started over. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, great, great cover. And then rounded out here, we got uh, two different co uh, covers for Donny Cates Hulk number two. Uh, we got cover A and then cover B, actually. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, the story is very weird to me so far, but I'm hoping it goes in like a really cool direction. Obviously, there's only one book so far, but I'm going to keep going with it because Donny Cates is a genius, but really, really cool. That, that cover A makes me question some things, so makes me question a lot. I think it's Ryan Otley, right? Is the I think it's Ryan Otley's doing yeah. the artwork on that. And I believe yeah. it's the first appearance of the second Bruce Banner. Third. The, second? Third? I think the second. Second. Which I don't really get it because I haven't read the story. But could be cool. Might make sense. He's splitting everything into different personalities. But that's going to round it out for our new comic day. Let us know what you guys got in your new comic day. We'd like to see if we missed anything. This was a pretty good week. A pretty good week. I think we're leading up to some slow ones, though. So... Mm -hmm. All right, let's jump right into it. Let's get back into some good stuff. So, Princess picked up, uh, this is a whatnot purchase. Of Digimon card game. Yeah, right? Uh, Digimon. So this is an interesting like one. Digimon so, all day. this is only like three or four books, and they uh, they put it in a super giant box. So, kind of cool. I mean, uh, it's, it's definitely well, well packaged really well. So, you can't complain. It's just a strange way to box it up. I, I Whoever sent this, uh, contact my ID, and I'll tell you a really cheap way to send books. And not a bulky thing. Oh like the rest is all padding? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can send that little stack of books for eight bucks. All right. So let's see here. Okay. Let's kick it off. <laughs> let's see what Princess was getting on IG. So maybe, you, maybe. oh, that's what was on the back of it. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, that's so it looks like they did a throw in. So you got Year of the Villain number one. We got a million copies. That's a 25 of those. center. I know we keep getting a bunch of those, but we were looking at the back and I was like, oh, what did Princess pick up? And that's nothing. Oh, what did Princess pick up? They're, are they taped together? Oh, that's a. There we go. I was worried about people use tape and it's got the resealable bag, but we got yeah. Unworthy, the Unworthy Thor number one. This is the hip hop cover. Odin's son is unworthy. I'm not sure what that, which one that goes to in the hip hop. Princess knows, I guarantee you she knows. But I've heard actually the Unworthy Thor is a pretty decent read. It's a, uh, o overlooked uh, story. Is he like uh, Thor unpowered? I don't know. I never read it. But I heard. I heard. Well, Pretty you didn't hear fun. much. I heard a little bit. This one's whoa. We all these hip hop books, all hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop anonymous. She must have found a, a whatnot that was doing hip hop. So we got Red Wolf number one, Red Wolf the Coming Wolf. Dude, this is cool. Mike Del Mundo. I like Red Wolf. I did. We we secured his first appearance in Marvel Spotlight number one. I think he's going somewhere. I mean, he's been around for a while, but he's eventually going to go somewhere. I I, so, I would I would say it'd be they'd be hard pressed to uh, find a place. In his own TV show, he might be an add-on, but I definitely not his own TV. Red show. Wolf, Red Wolf, Red yeah. Wolf, the future. All right, uh, this is crazy looking. Howling Commandos of Shield number one. Oh, Hit Monkey. Is that what that is? Oh, it is Hit Monkey. That's pretty cool. The Man Thing. Uh, <laughs> Nick Fury, maybe? Oh, because he's they're wearing the shield. Thing, yeah, but I wonder who that is. It almost kind of looks like. What's that one like? Monster monsters one? Movie monsters? Not movie monsters, but the monsters on the loose. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. They made a they made a hip hop album, Monsters on the Loose. Yeah. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> it was uh, a reading. So far, so good. All right. Let's see. These are stuck. Whoa. You've already got this one, don't you? Princess need another one. Enter the squad. Squadron Supreme, or Squadron Supreme number one, that's the Wu-Tang one. I've already seen that one before. Apparently, Princess needed doubles. Triples, quadruples. Oh, whoa. I've never seen this one. Rocket Raccoon number one. Ooh. Mike Dodato Jr. and Frank Diarmata. That's a cool cover. Very, very cool. Pretty basic, but I like that basic cover. Feel free to leave... Any comments down below if you guys know what the homages are, because 
Zach and I have no idea. Only Princess knows. Yeah, yeah. I, and I, she doesn't tell us, so we have to wait for the comments to find out what they really are. Mm-hmm. All right, but very, very cool, nice pickup, Princess. Comment uh, down below. Expected to see uh, a what a what not uh, hip hop buy, but good choices. All right, so we got two final books. I think they happen to be the exact same book. Um, Zach yeah. was online uh, and picked up. This actually came from Art Germ, right? Art Germ, Art Germ Collectibles. That's pretty cool. So tell them about it, Zach. Yeah, so you'll you'll know the title. It's pretty cool. It's uh, I don't I think it's limited to a thousand. My friend Randy told me about it, and I kind of dug the cover, so I took a chance on it. They had like a special buy one get one half off, so eh, I'll, I'll take a shot on it. Like I said, I like the cover. Package like in that's that's really all I can say about this book until we actually show it. Yeah, that's true. And that's why none of Archer's books come back at 9.8. They they do it in a weird, weird way. They put a bunch of paper. Yeah, like it's almost like... Wrapping paper? It's like tissue paper. It's, they put... Oh, tissue. I don't know what this is. This is like... This They're is, tape too. What's that tape, that paper you get when you're a kid that's like, uh, construction paper? <laughs> construction paper? I'm like, I'm not, I was like, I'm not even going into construction. Why are they giving me this paper? Okay. Oh, ooh, oh, ooh, pretty cool. That, yeah, it does look like an archer. I was like, that's an archer? And I was like, it does look like an archer. Yeah, that actually is really dope. Yeah. Yeah, two of my favorite characters. One character I don't really know much about. The other one was in the very first issue to the last issue of the original run. And it's still going, right? It's still going. Yeah. Wow. It's it's kind of like, it's kind of like a, a movie poster. But like for a horror movie. Wait, produced by, well, no, directed by James Kramer, produced by Nicolas Cage. No, Nicolas Cage doesn't have any money. <laughs> Two face. Um, oh, there's a little certificate of authenticity on here. Yeah, it is limited to a thousand. All right. There you go. We'll, let, we'll show it to him now, since they haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, it's House of Slaughter number one. Pretty dope cup. How much you buy those for? I think they were forty dollars. But... You gotta buy one half. Buy one, get one half off. So probably sixty dollars all together. Nice. So if you want to buy one at an inflated price, contact the IG. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. Like they they like pumped up the House of Slaughter like quite a bit, and I don't know. If it didn't really have any like first appearances, like just first of the new story. But yeah, it's a prequel. It's I hard mean, to say if you know if it's gonna go anywhere like the original one did. There probably is the first appearance in there, but it's probably for a very small character. So how small? Like this small? Like no, like this small. Uh, like like microscopic. Ant- like Ant Man small. Nice. That's how they get you. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. I think a pretty mellow show for you today. Um, got some good stuff coming up, Mystery Box Monday, so stay tuned for that. When we get back to you on Monday, I think we got some cool stuff to open on that one. But uh, as usual, if you like the show, love the show, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Leave us a comment down below, let us know what you think, let us know what you think of the games. And uh, yeah, anything else, Zach? You guys share how to do that is you tell people about this show so they watch us, get more views, and then we give bigger giveaways, guys. We're going to give huge giveaways. We're going to give away the kitchen sink, guys. I'll give away my st- amazing Spider-Man number 20, guys. First Scorpion. If you get a crazy amount of views, that's how you get those gains. You said 1,000 subscribers? No, like, no, no, hun- no, 100,000 subscribers. That's how you get those games. All right, we're leaving that in. All right, guys, <laughs> until we see you next time, remember. Get those games! Get them. Yeah.